Hello everybody and welcome back to Chellington 17. So yesterday we did the bailing in field number 20 and it actually went pretty well, which is surprisingly unusual. But still, I have decided to get a different machine to move these with. We may or not go with it, um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. So uh, here it is. It is a skidacy loader designed for the forest, but still we're going to try it with this. If it doesn't work, we're just going to get the vulture. To pay for this thing, we had to sell the JCB loader, which you might think is either a good idea or a bad idea, but I think it's a good idea because we're going to use this thing for not only forestry, but also around the yard to do the mucking out of the pigs and stuff like that. I think it will work quite well. Um, and also I was thinking about how to stack these bales between yesterday's video and today's video, and I thought the best thing to do is to create two stacks, maybe even three stacks, fairly decent size stacks, this is not going well already, um, if it continues like this, if, I, if I'm still so bad we'll just get the vulture, because I'm not too bad with the tractor, uh, yeah so two or three stacks, at medium size, I might be going a bit too low actually, that could be the issue. But it wants to be sort of neat, as they could be here for quite some time. So, got to be quite careful. Oh, unlike that. This doesn't look good. You stay there. It's my spike. My spike. It's spiking stuff. With a bit of practice, it will make perfect. So, please bear with me. Um, but I won't let you sit through a load of terrible stacking. I will definitely improve it by using the tractor if it does stay too bad. This one might be better. We'll see. If this goes okay, then I'm getting the hang of it. The reason why I decided to use a skid steer loader is because it's not only very highly requested, but also I thought I haven't really used it, so it's a bit of a shame not to use it. Yes, I just realised it doesn't... Yes. It's not telescopic, so I'll have to go on the other side to put that one over there. Uh, how's that going to pull out? That's alright. Yeah, I think I'll be alright. Hopefully. Yeah, we haven't really used it. I did one showcase video of it back in October. And since then, never used it at all. I'm hoping to do some forestry work with it very soon. as it needs a bit more recognition. It looks good. Even though this is the forestry one, that's where it's all caged up. The standard one is cheaper. But we've used it before, so I thought this would make a change. Oh, I'm also getting used to the skidding. It is very skiddy. Driving it with a steering wheel feels weird too, because isn't it sticks? Levers. Outside cab view is definitely easier. Uh, wrong way. That would do. Okay, so that is acceptable. That's all I can say. But yeah, I think if we can bring half the field this way and half the field the other way, then we're best to just create two fairly large stacks, which should look quite good. And then we can just move one at a time. I always do that. It's so annoying. Just put it a bit higher up. There we go. And the way I was going to do it, I wasn't just going to keep going higher and higher. I was going to uh, come out probably, uh, well, just two actually, because otherwise it's not going to be able to reach. But I was also going to put them on the side. This way it keeps it a bit more square, as it should push it when we put it up against the stack here. No. If it does that, I think maybe just tilt it and then push it like that. Although it's it's still spiking it, I need to tilt it more. Right there, good. And yeah, if you just give it a nudge, it squares it up. So hopefully, this is going to turn out okay. While I'm doing this, I will give you the vote for next week's video. What do you want us to do? Do you want us to do some forestry work with this skid steer? 
and probably with the IT runner as well. Or, this is in the first episode next week by the way, do you want us to buy a bale shredder and work on the pigs? Or, do you want us to uh, cut field number 18, which is the great big grass field? Just there. Uh, up to you. Please do vote. And we will do whatever is decided. This should look okay. Really hoping it will do. Now, with a bit of luck, that will square it when I push that. Hopefully. Yeah, that's okay. I can live with that. If that's as bad as it gets, then it's fine. Right, so I've just been continuing for a few minutes and progress is good. Let me just put that there. And I'm hoping to go four high. I think this thing will be able to reach four high. Yep, definitely. But I think getting over four high will be a bit of a challenge. Uh, now we're getting to the stage where I'm driving a very long way just to bring them over. I suppose the sensible thing to do would be to have another traction trailer. Uh, load the trailer up and then take it over there. But then that's kind of counterproductive. We might as well just take it back to the yard instead of stacking it in the field. So, yeah. Technically we should be moving on to the next stack. But I want to just get this one a little bit higher first. I did try and put two on here together. And it did actually work, kind of. The wheel, the skid steer loader here didn't have any issues with actually picking it up or transporting it but the bales themselves didn't like it they would keep jumping apart and sort of exploding very weird uh, so yeah the physics just didn't like it basically JCB was fine so we've just got to do one side one on this side and then the same for the other side and then we'll be on to the final layer which is layer number four Go. And I think once we've got more four high, we'll start the second stack. The second stack may be smaller in the end, but we'll see. It actually doesn't matter. We'll be able to work it out because there's 25 bells in total, so I'll just count how many there are at the end, and then, well, it'd be obvious actually, but we'll be able to see exactly how full each stack is. So I'll just do this bit off screen, and then when we've got to stack number well when we're stacking four high I will resume the video here we go layer number four hmm with that no I don't think it would get a fifth layer there's no point anyway so yes four is the maximum height you can get with one of these things it's good just there Whoa, that was close. Probably got a little bit too excited when pulling that bale out. When I'm pulling the bale spike out. Right, okay, let's go over to the next bale. We need three more, I think. Yes, three more. And then that stack is finished. Okay, so I've just done two more. This is the final one for this stack. It's quite a drive now, it's a bit ridiculous. So all the ones over there are going to be going to the far end to create another smaller stack. This is going to be the biggest one, without a doubt. Um, but we've got 4, 8, 12, 16. I would have thought it looks like it's going to be 16. So, yeah, it's not going to leave an awful lot, really, for the other one. My maths is correct, it'll be nine. Looks we've got four stacks of four. Oh, that's not good. It needs to be roughly square with it, otherwise it's gonna be a bit unstable. I think, yeah, they're all okay except for this one over here, which for some reason has decided to pull out a bit. Uh, but we don't need to get too carried away with it, that's okay. There is the stack. I've done worse. <laughs> that's okay, I'm happy with that. And we can actually climb up on it, which is fun. So, 
Good. When we do need some bales, or if we need to sell some bales or something, they're going to be very local to the farm. The ones up here will be very local to the store up here. I don't know if there is a sell point at the store, so I don't know if that would be um, actually important or not them being up here, but either way, they're out of the way, so that's good. Last thing we want is to cram the yard up with bales. Also, it will drop the frame rate, so yeah, we want to keep some stuff out of the yard. Right, so this is the, the furthest way bale from this stack. Yes, we, we do need to start off well. Quite a, an important thing there. So we'll start off with it being straight. Uh, so, how many do we have? We should have nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yes, good. So, this stack is going to go just on the edge of the field. I suppose we could put it near the water. Not very pretty, wouldn't it? We'll put it here. Not so close it falls in, though. Should be able to blitz through this as we are so close to where we're taking them to. But I'm going to do the same thing again, even though it's not going to be as big. Hmm. Yes. I must remember to tilt it down just slightly, as it does aid it coming out. I'm still going to have to push it forwards. There we go. Now you might find it quite hard to believe, but I'm actually lost. I'm trying to find my stack. Okay, so, oh dear, I have, um, I have found the stack. Now you'll be pleased to hear I did actually get out of the river after doing the backflip. Um, yeah, accident, whoops. Accidents do happen, I shouldn't have put the stack so close to the side. It was a stupid idea. But let's just finish it off. The good thing is, this is our amphibious skid steer loader. It might not be sold as amphibious, but we've just proved that it can backflip into a river and still work perfectly. Now for the side bits, we put this on here. Don't know how many bells we have left. Oh no. There we go. Uh, just one actually, oh no two, there are two. So we'll probably just build it up on one side and make it three high. Yep, that would make sense. So, yeah, I mean it's gone okay. Despite the back flipping of a new machine into a river, I think this job has gone quite smoothly. And it has taken an entire episode to do this, but it, it definitely pays off. Keeping it neat is vital, plus keeping stuff out of the yard is also very handy. As I explained, it, not only does it get in the way, but also they do drop the frame rate, and in the end, the video quality isn't going to be as good. But having said that, Challington is actually a very smooth map to run. Whereas I've actually had a worse frame rate on Goldcrest Valley, surprisingly. Usually the base maps are the easiest to run. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. It seems to be a very smooth map, this. So there we go. Three, six, nine. Perfect. My maths was perfect before. I've never been too good with maths, but I can do a bit of addition, usually. So there we go. The stack is finished. Now all we have to do is take this back to the yard and just have a quick tidy up. So yeah, anyway, please do place your votes for the next job, which will be next week. Uh, by then, I should have much better audio quality. I'm going to be also taking a quick look at my uh, other microphone. 
which for some reason decided to go a bit funny. It could just be because of the acoustics in the room, just because I haven't got the sound insulation behind the microphone. So I'm going to get that all set up, well, after this video. I'm recording yesterday's video and today's video together, so yes, it'll be after today's video. Um, and yes, it, it should be after New Year, it should be uh, very good quality, I'm hoping. That's the plan. And there is the other stack just there. So, yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to be driving this thing down the road, but it's not too far. We need to get a car trailer, we might invest in one. Probably going cab view too. What did we do with that field? We just, yeah, we just cut it, didn't we? We didn't do anything with it. So, uh, that is a field to think about in the future, doing a different job in there, but I've not really decided what to do. Uh, I suppose it could be something like a, a maze field or something, it doesn't really matter. But I'm not too worried about rushing into doing that field again, as doing the same field twice is a bit boring. We do already have some bales at the yard up here, which I don't think we need. Yeah, the hay bales are only really used for the cows, for the total mixed ration. So if we sell some, I'll just quickly sell one, just to see how much we get for it, as basically it is just money laying around. And because we sold the JCB loader and replaced it with this, we do also have extra money, which was left over after the sale. So that is most likely going to be put towards a bale shredder. I seriously doubt a bale shredder will be as much as £78,000. It should be more like £25,000. Uh, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Let's just have a look, actually. Uh, it shouldn't be too much. Yeah, 25000 Not a bad guess. What the? I'm sure that was on the spike. So, yes. Whether or not we're giving them straw will be up to you. I think these are worth... Is it... Is it no, the straw bales are 200 and something. It shouldn't be less than 200 and something, is it? 246 or something. 270. So, yeah, that's okay. Anyway, let's just find a parking place for it. I think, really, it can just go in here somewhere. But this JCB is going to be used as the mucking out vehicle and also the feeding vehicle. So we're going to have to get a, a wide range of different attachments for it. Plus we're going to have to get the forestry attachments as well. So even though it is all kitted up for the forest, I think it'll be fine here. Even though the caging will probably get very frustrating just for working around the pigs here. But you never know, they might start throwing missiles or something. So it's good that we've got the extra cover. Anyway, uh, yeah, sorry about the short video. Uh, we'll hopefully have a longer one next week. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again very soon. Just one egg here. I think that is everything. Yeah, anyway, see you again soon. Bye for now.